so next is our topic which we are moving on and calculating the derivative of a loss function which is our next step in towards approaching back propagation algorithm so we can see that there are two types of loss functions that we have already discussed so far one is the uh, mean squared error loss function another is a cross entropy loss function so mean squared error loss function is what you are going to see right now and how do you calculate the gradient of it so you all know the mathematical expression i have been teaching you about mean squared error it is half summation over uh, what is the actual output and what is the predicted output whole square difference right now for this you are supposed to calculate the derivative so derivative we are going to take it with respect to the predicted outputs so that's how a partial derivative is coming and because it is dependent on two values and i'm going to take it with respect to the predicted output that's how it is a partial derivative and i'm getting it as do l by do i and i take it inside the partial derivative now you should know the uh, decomposition uh, by the law of derivative of composite function for this and i apply the same so 2 into yk minus ok comes as derivative of this and then the internal derivative will come into picture and then i slowly again take up uh, 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 the mathematical part and 2 and 2 gets cancelled now i have yk minus oik and then internal derivation i am going to find out where d do yk by do oi becomes um, nothing zero and then you have internally minus do ok by do oi i mean the people who are good with maths will be able to identify it and then what do you get here is i just rearrange it to remove this minus value so i get ok minus y ok now when you see this now uh, you are actually um, assuming uh, you are you will actually come to know that uh, this particular value uh, is actually one summation of do ok by do oi so when you put this you finally get uh, the partial derivative of loss function as oi minus yi so this was the gradient of your loss function which is a mean square error loss function okay now we are going to go for a gradient of cross entropy function which is little bit complex because for this you must first go and determine the gradient of a softmax function that is majorly used for classification as an activation function so you all know this is the mathematical expression for a softmax function so i put it in the form of g of x and h of x and to this when i apply the derivation then i derivative then i have this formula g dash of x h x minus h dash of x g of x by h of x whole square. So in this you have to understand e power z i is your g of x and summation e power z k is your h of x. But then since summation is there, we are supposed to derive this particular gradient for two conditions. For the first condition when both i and g are equal, and the second condition when they are not. So what i am going to do is i am going to substitute these values which i have taken and start de deriving it using this particular formula of f dash of x so here you can see i simply substituted this particular thing and what i am going to do is mathematically solve this particular part where i keep e power z i common and i get these two equations so when i see that i just try to rearrange it properly this square if you can see i just splitted it over here and i'm just writing it to rearrange it once i rearrange it what i observe here is um this is nothing but if you take this particular entity as p then this particular part is actually written as 1 minus p mathematically they are in that format so i simply replace this with p and 1 minus p so you can see here i write it here as p of i into 1 minus p of j this is when i is equal to j okay so this was the first condition that we have derived it okay now for the second condition when we are talking that they both are different when pi is not equal to pj and you are calculating uh, the partial differentiation uh, over here uh, then what you can see here is when you uh, put g dash of x you actually get it as zero and then the remaining things you calculate it as it is and you try to split it properly e power minus zj and zi separately so what you get here is this is uh, pj what you are writing and this is 
PI, what you are writing. So, there are two separate conditions and there are two different forms of, uh, you know, um, the derivatives that you are writing over here. Uh, for the condition when pi is equal to pj and pi not equal to pj. We are going to use this when you calculate the derivative of a particular loss function. So now when this cross entropy loss function we have taken, we know this is the mathematical formula for this cross entropy function. You are supposed to calculate the partial derivative of it and the partial derivative is with respect to the variable zi. So the logic variable zi you are going to take it and substitute it over here. Now what I am doing again I am decomposing it. So when I decompose it what I am trying to do is I am trying to multiply and divide here by dou pk so that I make it in a proper format and when I do that I got to know that this particular thing becomes 1 by pk into dou pk by dou z you know this particular part this becomes 1 by pk so this is what you got now this dou pk by dou z i is one crucial thing this is nothing but the partial derivative of your softmax function which you just now evaluated so you will be writing this particular equation for those two conditions you have derived softmax function just now i equal to j and i not equal to j so when you put this into two cases, um, you simply write now in place of i and j, you will write k equal to i and k not equal to i. So when you simply substitute it and rearrange it, what you get is this particular expression for your binary cross entropy function. So when you just solve it properly by taking pi common, you get this. Now you realize that, that this particular value is nothing but 1. So why it is one because you will be choosing one hot encoding labels for most of the cases of classification. So one hot encoding method for the label of classification if you are taking that particular value of yi and summation yk becomes one. So when you substitute that as one you get the final partial derivative of cross entropy loss function as pi minus pi i. So this is what you are supposed to remember for um, um, M, uh, MSC mean squared error you got it in the form of OI minus YI and for binary cross entropy after you have done for your softmax function you get PI minus YI it's almost similar. So this is the mathematical way of doing uh, gradients of your loss functions. So we are two steps more into uh, towards I can say back propagation algorithm. We just now learnt about a derivative of two popular loss functions.